right, so uh, I just picked up this 2002 WRX. Hang on. All right, I just picked up this 2002 WRX wagon, and I've had it for a little over an hour now, and uh, I'm changing out the radio. Let's see. So, I think that this wagon is going to end up leading me to make some YouTube videos, and this was probably going to be my first one. But, bottom line, I am in Tennessee, I live in Illinois, and I am currently about... I'm three and a half hours away from home, but since I'm going to be gone for so freaking long, I figure that I might as well at least change out the radio. And the good thing is literally every single Subaru radio is the exact same. I took the one out of my other Subaru and used the wiring harness and I'm just going to use that and replace that in here. So other than that, this is a higher mile a 2002 WRX wagon 5 speed. It has a stage 2 Cobb tune. Cobb's over there. And other than that, it has a brand new turbo. The only issue I have with it is clutch is a little iffy. If anyone knows how to adjust it, let me know. And the power steering and AC are also a little iffy on wanting to work or not, but it's fine. I do have plans to probably swap the transmission later on, but that'll be way down the line because I have no money. And then after that, I will be able to push more horsepower and yeah, go fast. So my last car was a 2007 STI, and a lot of people ask me, why the hell did you, you know, sell it to get this? And the main thing is, all that. I came to Tennessee with all of that extra junk, and the main reason I did that is because I knew that I would be able to bring all of it back with me. Man, this really is similar. I think for now, I'm just gonna probably pause the video unless I find something cool because it's freaking hot and I don't want to be wearing this head mount all day. But if I see, all right, never mind. So that stripped out and these other two stripped out. So I'm probably just gonna not record and attempt to make it to a auto supply store nearby and hopefully find a way to get it to work, which probably won't because that's just my luck. So I'm on this road for 70 miles and one thing I've noticed is that if you look, I'm in fifth gear doing about maybe 80 and I'm sitting at three and a half grand. So it's droney, which is probably part of the fact that it's a wagon. But if you look here, I'm quite a ways away and I have no radio and AC like, oh, okay. So that's a lot better than I thought it was. It's somewhat colder now. <laughs> See, I don't know about that 2.11, if that's a big deal because it's, very minor. If it is a big deal, let me know if anyone knows. But as far as I'm concerned, besides for the clutch being a little iffy and other stuff here and there, this is a very fun car. Like, it's not the fastest thing in the world, especially compared to like my STI, but I'm gonna have a lot of fun in this thing. I definitely wanna drive it around a lot. I mean, that's 218,081 miles. I'm not really worried about it. I just plan on having some freaking fun with this thing. I'm looking to road trip. So far, it's not that bad. I think I'll just have to save up and get an STI swap, but that's just a given with these cars. Yeah, it's gonna take a while to get used to this car, but oh well, it's fun for now. All right, so I think I found an auto parts store that can probably get the uh, screws out for me. And if that is the case, then that'll be good, so that way I can, you know, get that put back. Um, Turn right where? Oh. All right, so the radio is half-assed in. I don't know where I am, but this place is kind of cool. And I am getting ready to get back on the interstate and head back to my house. God, I gotta figure out a better way to record. This is kind of cool, though. Ah, that's a police station. I'm gonna calm down. Looking good. So I just freaking. I freaking sneezed on myself. Aw, oh, damn it. I just missed all those tunnels. Here, I'll get a little. Maybe. Here we go. This is a town, I'm not gonna do that. So far, I like it. This is gonna be a fun car for sure. Just got a few things to work on. 
definitely want to get a six speed. Pulls really nice, it feels good, shifts good, everything. Just needs a little things here and there, but ah, uh, so this is actually working good. That is a pain in the ass. Besides that, everything else is working fine as far as the radio goes. I don't know what's going on here. All my stats seem to be looking good, so that's a plus. Whenever you let off the gas, it kind of like revs up a bit, which is strange. I don't know what that is. I'll figure it out. It's running all right. I mean, I've only used a quarter tank since Tennessee and hell, I'm uh, somewhere. Well, that's all for now. Oh, Jesus. I'm still freaking used to my car and I don't know where to shift this thing at. And it's a lot more bouncy than my car. It's hard being smooth in this. Five speed is drastically different from the six speed. I'll find a way to get by until I can afford a six speed. Very practical. Everything back there is fitting perfectly. Oh yeah, so what I had to do for the radio, I went inside O'Reilly's to ask if they could help me. And I bought this thing for like six bucks and it got all but one out. If you ever have a really stripped ass bolt, just get a big ass screwdriver and it'll get it out. You learn something new every day. This bridge is pretty cool. I like it a lot. Oh, hi. Yeah, if you look out there, you can see, I don't know what that is, but it's really cool. I'm assuming it might be the Mississippi. See, there's a giant barge. There was quite a few on that side, but I can't really tell right now. But these things have gotta be ancient. Definitely a really cool place to come down to. I definitely might end up back down here in this car. All right, just got home, unloading stuff. Figured I'd do a quick little walk around of the car. It's pretty clean. I think my favorite part is the fact that the seats fold down. I do have to get in here and check the rear struts for rust because uh, there's a little hole on this side and then one over there and then the only like surface rust is right here. And as far as I know, he said that he went through and head gaskets and valve cover gaskets and other stuff, new turbo. It's got a big intercooler. I don't like that. I don't like blow off valves, but definitely getting new wheels. Probably gonna turn those to my winter set, but it's gonna be the project and I might make content with it. So hopefully I can do some cool stuff. All right, so it's been a couple days now. I have had the car. It's now Friday and I've had this since about Monday afternoon. I'm in the process of going to town to get a new PCV valve because Tuesday afternoon, it started puffing out a little bit of blue smoke and I've heard that it could be excessive oil, rings, valves, or the PCV valve itself. I got it out. You're supposed to hear like shaking and you really don't. It only works you gotta you gotta give it some so it's getting stuck really bad and it won't allow it's basically just not working properly so i'm about to run to town and get the new valve they have the pcv valve so this is the old one it it kind of it gets stuck occasionally and like doesn't really it doesn't really do it but this is the brand new one i'm back at the house now this is the old pcv valve and if you listen it's not you don't you don't hear anything but if i take this new one it works like a charm so i'm gonna go install this and probably record while i'm doing it and then if i get it running i'll probably go on a quick cruise and then explain my plans of the car since it's been my first week and get my impressions on it and uh yeah basically just go from there so far this is really freaking easy hoping this fixes my oil problem either way it's a good thing to just get it replaced then you're gonna want to take this i'm just gonna tighten that down Looks pretty good. Just 
at this hose and boom it's installed now installed touching that hose and then now i need to get the intercooler put back into place and then organized stir it up and see how it does hopefully that fixes my issue got a lot of stuff to work on with this and next thing I do is going to be me removing my rear carpet to investigate the rust. There's some bubbling on that quarter, some minor holes starting on the wheel wells. And uh, if it was unlocked, I'd be able to show you better. But there's some inside there, but it's mostly all surface rust. Besides for that, I think this should be smooth sailing. I think I might have it now. It's driving way better than it did the first time I installed it. My only concern thing is right here, it looks like it's about to come off that little lip right there and then create a whole nother problem. So I'm probably going to end up buying a STI intercooler and a stock bypass valve because I see no purpose in having that. It just gave me fitment issues and this entire area is just giving me fitment issues. So as of now, I'm going to send a data log over and see if it's healthy, but I'm going to drive it for the way it is. I think that's all so i'm going to be making more content i hope to be doing some cosmetic stuff after i check out the rust and see where it goes so yeah